I'll drink some water. If he's come to borrow money, he'll be sorely disappointed. What is it, my dear friend? Uh, you see, honored sir, I haven't any right to expect your assistance. Oh, don't beat around the bush, boy. Speak it out. One minute. The fact is, I have come to ask for the hand of your daughter. Oh, dear God in heaven, such a joy. Can you say that again? Do I have the honor to marry your daughter? Iran Lamov was a wealthy neighbor of a wealthy farmer, Stephen Chubukov. Lamov comes to seek the hand of Chubukov's 25-year-old daughter, Natalia. Oh, my dear boy, I'm so glad. Yes, indeed, I'll go to call Natalia. She is in love, she is in love, she is in love. If I take time to look for an ideal wife or for a real love, then I'll never get married. It's so cold. Natalia is an excellent housekeeper. She is not bad looking and she went to school. What more do I want? I'm already 35. Natalia. Please sit down. Won't you have some lunch? No, thank you. I've had already. Why? You are in evening dress? Well, you do look nice. Are you going to a party or something? Hmm, tell me. You see, I've come here to see if you would uh, to ask you What's the matter? The Chukovs and the Linovs have always had the friendliest relations. We are close neighbors. My land borders, yours, my oxen meadows. Let me brief you with oxen meadows. It is an estate to which both Natalia and Lomov claim their ownership and start quarreling. As all three are quarrelsome, it is impossible to calm them down. One moment, please. My oxen meadows, but are they yours? Yes, they are mine. Well, I never knew that before. I can show you the documents. What's going on? What's all the shouting for? Papa, please tell to this gentleman who owns Oxen Meadows, him or us? The meadows are ours. I'll prove to you that they are mine. You won't prove it. We'll see. I'll have the matter taken to court. To court? <laughs> you go ahead and take it to the court. And don't set foot in my house again. Crook! And he has the nerve to make a proposal? What proposal? Why? He came here to propose you. Propose to me? Why didn't you tell me that before? Bring him back. Go! Don't yell. I'm going. So, the proposal led to a quarrel. Poor Natalia. She keeps weeping. Lamov and Natalia had a liking for each other but never expressed. Natalia, poor girl, was so disheartened until... He's coming back. He's coming back. My heart's beating. What the hell is it now? We were to see each other at court, right? Forgive us. Ivan... We were all a little heated. I remember now. Oxen meadows are yours. My meadows? Yes, yes. That's enough.
Oh, have you heard? My best dog Gizzard has gone lame. What a pity! How did it happen? I don't know. He must have twisted it. I gave Mirinov one twenty-five for him. Oh, you were wrong. I think it was a bargain. He's a first-rate dog. Papa, only paid eighty-five for his horn messer, and messer is much than Gizzard. Messer is better than Gesser. Messer is better than Gesser. Of course, he is better. It's not. It is. What are you shouting for? What are you lying for? Excuse me, I cannot continue this discussion. What's the matter now, Papa? Tell us, which is the better dog, our Messer? Yes, sir. Is your messer overshot or not? Yes well, or no? What is this matter? He is the best dog. You have to excuse me. My messer ran neck and neck with the comet's dog. Your messer was chasing him because the count hit him with a whip. He had good reason. I remember everything. I remember too. I remember too. What do you remember? You are sneaky. What I am? Snake. You young brat, old rat. Shut up! I shoot you like a pigeon, you fool. <sighs> Call a doctor. Call a doctor, please. Fool. I am sick. My heart is pounding. Call the doctor. Champagne, champagne, champagne.